Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rickless Dumped, and I'm here today with a little bit of nostalgia. I've got a little nostalgia for a game that I played a lot of on the Sega Genesis back in the day called Road Rash, and here I am playing Road Redemption, which is the successor to Road Rash, still in early access, which is surprising because I first heard about this game coming out about two years ago, and here it is still in early access, and it was on the Humble Bundle Store for half off, so I thought, why not give it a spin, see what this game's been up to, and see if it lives up to my memories. So let's go ahead and get into a campaign. I'm just going to go ahead and say start, because I'm playing all alone, but apparently you can play with four players. And here we go. Um, I am Santa Claus, and I need to pick a bike. I'm going to pick this bike. Looks pretty cool. And I don't want to be Santa Claus, because, you know, it's a little bit too hot for you right now, St. Claus. Um, I'm going to pick a different rider, and what do we got? We've got, ooh, a Halloween rider. Shovel Knight. Of course you have Shovel Knight, because every indie game these days are sticking Shovel Knight in their games. So, uh, of course, Road Redemption would be no different. But it gives us increased durability on crashes and melee attacks, but slower acceleration due to his weight. Oh, so these are kind of, there are perks and whatnot. What the perk of Ho 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 is, I'm not quite sure. Uh, gains critical attacks faster than other riders, but normal attack do less. I'm going to be Psycho Rider. And, okay... I've got to stay ahead of the 666 gang, and if I do, I get a $1,100 reward. So basically, we're just racing, and we've got weapons. We race along this lonely strip of highway, and we try to take out the competition. Just like that. Like, I just killed Hatticus, and I acquired a pipe for my efforts. There we go, and I defeated German 985 and I'm just trying to get into first. Okay, there's the seventh place player right there. He's out, Paul Cook, and I acquired his shovel, apparently. So you just keep collecting weapons. And there's the fuzz, too. Okay, and the fuzz tried to club me, so I gotta club him back. Get out of here, fuzz. Steven Gonzalez, rip. Oh god, get out of here, copper. Oh god, oh god, he's hitting me in the face. The face and the body, oh god, what was on the ground? I have no idea. Okay, get over here, cop. Ugh. There we go. I took out Officer Treadwell, which is unfortunate because, as far as I know, he was two weeks from retirement. Get out of here, Mr. Money. Ooh, I killed Mr. Money, so I think that I get a bunch of money, maybe? We'll find out. Which, what's my current place right now? Okay, there's kind of a, uh, a map on the bottom left of the screen. There we go. There's third place. Get out of my way, guys. Okay, they're second and first. If I can get ahead of them, I'm in first. Just swing my shovel at you. There we go. And there is nitro. If I double tap... Oh, shit. The left trigger. There we go. There's a cop up there, too. Okay, there's the finish line. And I place in first. Great. So I get a, an extra reward. What is that money good for, you might ask? Let's find out. Okay, I can buy upgrades here. Like a hamburger, which gives me health, but I'm doing pretty good on health because I didn't get hit too much. Uh, I can up my damage by 5%. That's not bad. I can increase my, my nitro, which is pretty good. Health gain up. Increase all health earned by two, 20%. That's okay. These are all pretty good upgrades, and there's some stuff locked, but I'm going to save my money until the next round and then see how we can do. And now I have the option to switch out my weapons as well. I've currently got a revolver, an axe, and a shovel. I'm going to save. I'm going to stick with it. That's fine. I'll stick with those three. And there we go. I've got my gun equipped right now. So let's see. I can shoot these turkeys. Oh, God. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty good. I defeated a guy named Love. Oh, that guy's bigger than the rest. His motorcycle was pretty beefy. That guy, too. These are like special biker guys. These are like Mad Max biker guys. Get out of here. My pistol ran out of ammo, apparently. So now I'm switching to a super long axe thing, which is actually pretty good. I, I, I like this weapon. So how does this game hold up to the game that I loved playing back in the 90s on the Sega Genesis? Well, I'll say it's just like the game I played on the Sega Genesis, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty easy. There's not much to it. 
you just go straight, stay on the road, kill people, you know, profit, and, uh, I guess I would hope that the game would have gotten a little bit more innovative with time. Because it's one thing just to make an HD remake of a game, and it's another to make a true sequel. And I don't feel like this is a true sequel. Also, the fact that it's still in early access is a little bit surprising. Okay, I've got money now. I can totally upgrade stuff. I'm going to upgrade my weapon durability. And, uh, I guess cash gain up as well? Sure, why not? Then we'll just keep on rolling. So as I was saying, you know, I would hope that there was a little bit more to this game. And perhaps it's just because it's in early access. There's not much of a narrative to it. Not much of a story. But... Everything feels a little bit repetitive, you know? This level, the highway may be a little bit different, but the objective is the same as the last. Drive forward, hit people with clubs, take their stuff, finish first, move on to the next level. I mean, maybe I just haven't advanced far enough in the game, but I had played this game a little bit before I started recording, you know? but. It'd be nice if there were some good objectives, maybe some boss fights that you had to go through, you know? Something that really motivated me to continue to play, because if the game is going to be this repetitive until the end, well, you know, I, I don't really feel compelled to play for longer than maybe 10, 15 minutes at a time. And like I said, maybe that's just because it's in early access, but this game has been in early access for a while, guys. Now, is it scratching my nostalgia itch? Well, sure, it's it's very much like playing the game that I played when I was a kid. I'm sure it's a lot prettier than the game I played as a kid. Uh, you know, I remember the graphics being just like this on the Sega Genesis, but I know that that's impossible. You know, I'm just remembering that through rose-colored glasses a little bit. But still, I'm left wanting a little bit more out of this game. And I guess... What's really getting to me the most is that... I know that the potential is there. You know? Like, uh... Take the Need for Speed games, you know? You could combine... Road Rash with a Need for Speed game and, like, really do something kinda cool. Meanwhile, we're just kind of left with this. Now, I said I picked this game up on the Humble Bundle Store, didn't I? If I didn't, well, I did. I picked it up on the Humble Bundle Store for half off its normal price of $19.99. And $19.99 for this game, I'm sorry. I feel that it's way too much, especially for a game that's been mired in early access as long as as this game has. Here we go, I've just completed mission three now. Let's continue, okay, I've got all this money now. I'm gonna, I guess, up my experience and I'll give myself an extra life because I'm just overflowing with money here. And the game's been pretty easy from here. Okay. It says there's nine remaining. Is that is that how many contestants I, perhaps? Or how many people I have to slay, maybe. Oh, that's how many people I have to slay. So apparently there are different objectives in different levels. This level, I don't just need to come in first. I need to kill nine people. Which isn't hard to do. There we go, that guy's dead. Just two more. There we go. Mission win. Nice takedown. So I won the mission already. That wasn't very challenging. At all. This sort of feels like an iOS game. To be quite honest. Uh, it's just, it's very shallow. Which, again, like I said, the original Road Rash, I mean, it wasn't deep. Alright? But few games on the early consoles were. You know, so... If you're looking for a game that's just a remake, this is this is a decent remake. 
but I wouldn't consider it a sequel. Oh god. Oh shoot, that was the first time I crashed. Okay, here's a good question. With how easy this game's been so far, how easy would it be for me to take first place having just crashed? Let's find out. All right, I'm using my nitro there, burning my nitro. I haven't had to do that really yet. And, uh, okay, now I'm in fourth. Can we come in first despite a terrible crash? That is a question that I have that should be answered here soon. Looks like the first place guy's way up there. I don't know how he got that lead. All right, I just passed, uh, looks like I'm in third now. Coming up on second place here. Okay, second place is down. Can I get to first place is the question. Oh, it's gonna be close. I've gained a little bit of nitro, there we go. Give myself a little nitro boost, whoa! Get back on the road there. Oh God, it looks like I'm coming up on him. I may very well be able to catch this guy. Oh God. Oh God, I'm almost dead too, I'm almost dead. I'm in second, first place is right up there. Okay, I'm in first now. I was able to get into first. Can I not die? Finish line is not far away. Oh man, he really wants it, but he ain't gonna get it. You get back. Get back, you. Oh. Oh, and he kills me. He kills me at the very last minute. Well, I could have come in first had I not been hit. But, uh, you know, them's the brakes. But I did have that extra life, so here we are. Still going. Wait, I'm in first again. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? It's like this game won't let me not come in first. This game should not be that easy. I wanted to not be in first. Come on now, you can't let me have first that easy. Give me a break here. All right, ammunition up. Get that vest, I guess, I don't know. It's beef jerky, sure, why not? All right, this will probably be the last race. Let's make it count. Okay, things are changed up a little bit here. Okay, now we're on a rooftop, which is nice. Okay, there is a change of pace. Rooftop fights are something different. And I have to, this is one of those missions where I have to kill a certain amount of people. Man, rooftop racing. Who knew? How'd my health get so low so quick? Oh, wow, game over. How did I go from having all the health in the world to dying so quickly? This game went from zero to 60 in like no time. But there you go, guys. I reached the end of the, 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 the playthrough, and uh, I'll show you now that you can level up, okay? So I leveled up a few things on my last playthrough. I've got 983 XP to play around with, so I'm going to go ahead and do a start on level 3 with... So there we go. That's just like a jump to level 3 upgrade there. Unlock six additional slots in the store. Sure, why not? And uh, there we go. We're going to spend it on that, and we're going to increase the chance that attacks will be critical strikes. All right, and I, oh, I still got a little bit left to spend. There we go. Now I'm out of XP. And there we have it. That was Road Redemption. Now, a game that I wanted to play to scratch that nostalgia itch, and was I satisfied? I will say, you know, I it reminded me of the fact that nostalgia can sometimes be misleading. Though you remember a game fondly, when you actually replay it, you remember, oh man, this is more about my childhood than about this game being good. And though this game wasn't terrible, I feel like it's not worth $20. And I'm actually really surprised that it's still in early access. Which isn't to say it's a terrible game, guys, but you know, uh, this, is, this is a game that I couldn't recommend picking up until you know it's out of early access. You know what you're buying. Because right now it's just repetitive and not that fun, to be honest. Anyhow, this has been my look 
at Road Redemption, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. I've been Rick with Stumped, and I will see you next time.